from busboy to gastro guru. That's the journey it's been for chef and restaurateur Jamie Kennedy. His passion for food has propelled his career. So let's find out what are the ingredients to his recipe for success. You know, Woody Allen said 90% 90, 90 of success is showing up. I, I, I laugh when, when I when I repeat that quote, but there's a lot of truth in it. Jamie Kennedy has been showing up for work for more than three decades. His love affair with food began in earnest with his first apprenticeship in a kitchen in small town Ontario. Now, after apprenticing, he toured Europe for business and pleasure. I'm kind of the person that uh, really believes in, in, in gut reactions to things, and you know, I'm not a huge planner. I just kind of go. Then, at the ripe old age of 22, he landed a job as head chef at the Toronto restaurant Scaramouche. Going from being a cook, just fresh out of finishing my apprenticeship, to having a management role in a, in a new company. Uh, it was uh, quite a leap, and it was tremendously challenging, but also extremely rewarding. Kennedy needed a break from the intensity of the restaurant business, so he started up his own one-man catering company. But it wasn't long before he missed the chaos of the kitchen. It's not boring, but it's, uh, it just lacks interaction, it lacks uh, sort of the live theater aspect of uh, having a restaurant. And I, and I discovered that that's something I, I really crave. So Kennedy made his way back into the biz as a chef at the restaurant at the Royal Ontario Museum. It excited me that the restaurant at the museum might have the opportunity to reflect uh, an Ontario or a Toronto experience for visitors to the museum who are going to see the dinosaurs or whatever, but that might want to come for lunch and also experience something genuine. Fast forward to the present. He's combined his love of preparing food with his desire to head up eateries. His business, Jamie Kennedy Kitchens, is a catering and restaurant fusion. His food empire employs more than 100 people, but is small enough that he can still be hands-on. So what do you got on the go here? His latest project is running a school for chefs, Jamie Kennedy style. A chance for him to teach up-and-comers about the advantages to thinking locally when it comes to food. The local food movement is really important to me. It's the way to achieve excellence in gastronomy. Kennedy's obsession with local organic food is a statement against fast food. Now, according to him, mass-produced dishes don't taste very good. You're not getting anywhere near excellence. You're approaching mediocrity at best. So his chef school will include work experience on his farm, learning about livestock and produce. Now, it's not up and running yet, but it's in the works. It's his way of spreading his message that food excellence comes from thinking local. So it's as much about educating the younger generation as about you know, satisfying my own ideology. Now that he's carved out a reputation and a brand for himself and his cuisine, Kennedy is enjoying the fruits of his labor. Every day is different. Every day is a new live performance. And you know, you bring your best game, but you don't know what's gonna happen, right? 